playing very good actually. Oh no, no, we've lost the wing. No. <laughs> Hello and welcome to another Kerbal Space Program video. My name's Rowan, and today we're going to be flying the Stingray aeroplane again. In the last video, we built this from scratch. It took off, it flew, and it landed. The only problem was it landed in a fireball, not as an aeroplane. So Ooh, whoa, whoa, ah. Oh. So, so our goal for today is simple. We have one goal and one goal only, to take off, do a U-turn and land. In the last episode, we noticed that uh, although we had a pretty good landing, it took us a few goes, but we did get there in the end. We had a pretty good landing and uh, these wheels on the front, they just gave way and the airplane exploded. Um, so I'm going to redesign the landing gear system and uh, I think I'm going to bring this forward because when I'm uh, when I'm coming into land and I'm trying to tilt the aircraft let's see if I can show you with the rotate tool I'm coming into land like this as you can see the rear wheel hits the floor first and then as soon as that happens I have no control effectively and this is going to slam down so uh, I'm going to bring it forward to try and allow me to get a more of a nose up angle because uh, I can't really land like this if I do I'm going to be going so fast that uh, the plane's never going to survive so yeah that's uh, pretty simple but that's what we're doing now then the landing gear I'm going to relocate this onto the wings I, I, I'm thinking uh, we still have to have it in front of the center of mass point so it's, uh, it's not straightforward. I think we could probably have it there. Do they look like they're... No, they don't. They look like they're not perfectly uh, lining up. There we go. That's fine. Now I'm going to just rotate them with the rotate tool. Click on the blue. Bring them round. Aha, perfect. Now we're going to delete these little wheels. They're not very good for much. And uh, also the plane is snaking quite a lot. And uh, I want to try and minimize that if I can help it. It's, it's snaking when, when taking off. It's very difficult to keep it in a straight line. So I'm thinking I'm going to just delete that wheel simply. And I'm going to place a single large landing wheel on the back. Um, I think I'm going to bring that forward. Now, I'm not sure how this is going to go. Looking at the center of mass, it should work, but uh, whether it does in reality, I don't know. Let's give it a go. A little bit bendy, but it does work. Just about. We're going to lock on and we're going to, no messing around, let's just go for it. Could be an idea to put some uh, support struts from this tank down to the back to stop that flex. Already we're noticing a massive improvement. It's uh, it's not sneaking all over the runway and very difficult to control. It's actually pretty pretty easy to fly so far. I'm going to try and get the nose up a bit just so we can get the plane in the air. Being careful not to hit the uh, lower rudder. And we're up. We're going to put the wheels down now. They do cause a bit of drag. I can feel it and I'm having to counteract that. I'm going to not cut the throttle like I usually do. I'm just going to reduce it. While trying to line it up with the runway. Ooh, whoa, whoa, ah, oh. 
close, but no cigar. Right, revert to the space plane hangar. Now I know what I know what the problem is. It's uh, the center of mass is now too far forward. It's the opposite to the problem we were having last time. Now one way to counteract this is to select these wings here, and I'm going to move them forward a bit, not too far, and uh, hopefully that will help us. I can't. And we're off. We're up in the air. Immediately the plane is much more responsive and balanced. Just from shifting the centre of weight. Now then, we're going to rotate the same as last time. And uh, it's like a different aeroplane. It really is. It's so much more agile. I can feel the inputs. I'm not constantly having to fight it, trying to dip down. It's uh, a much more balanced aeroplane. All right then, so we're going to keep going at full throttle. It's uh, hopefully we're going to be able to glide into the uh, into the runway because when the weight is on the front ahead of the centre lift, the the plane needs a lot of airspeed going over these rear fins, a lot in order to have enough um, force to counteract the weight on the front so when you come to slow down to come and land there's not enough weight going over these fins uh, sorry not enough airflow and that the weight can become overpowering and the plane just wants to dive and dip but uh, changing that center of weight these fins shouldn't have to work as hard as they were and we shouldn't need as much air over them in order for them to do their job so that's the um, that's the theory now it's all about uh, seeing if it actually works. The plane's turning much nicer than it was. Much more uh, balanced and lovely. Now long term, the idea for this aeroplane is to uh, make it land in some places that are not going to be necessarily flat like this and we're not necessarily going to have enough fuel to go around twice so I do need to get this plane at a point where it's very very good at landing slowly and landing on rough terrain so we're developing it once you can do it well on Kerbin uh, the planet that we're on at the moment then uh, maybe we can try and get it to land on other planets but I think we're a way off from that yet for now let's just try and uh, get it landing at least once it's never had a successful landing so yeah that's our simple goal I'm cutting the power only to around about 40% by the looks of it um, We've got a reasonably stable um, head in, right? Wheels down. Again, you do feel that. You can actually feel it on the aeroplane. Right. Not a bad, uh, not a bad approach. We may have to go around twice for this one. Yes, we are going to have to. is tense. Oh! Darn it. Right, let's go to uh, the space plane hangar and let's redesign this a bit further. We need more lift on the rear. That's the simple fact. Uh, I'm going to take off these fins, take off these 
and also those. Now then, we're going to change the whole design of the airplane now. I know it's a bit drastic, but uh, it's going to have to be done. I'm thinking we're going to put some of these on the edges of the wings. Now what you can do is you can set these uh, to just only be used for one purpose. So if I click... If I right click them, I can disable them so that they cannot be used for um, pitch, which is up and down, the way where the nose is pointing. Because they might try and help, but they're not really going to do anything. So it, can, it might negatively affect the way the plane flies. Uh, your, no, they're not going to be used for your. They're literally going to be used for roll, which is uh, the, the left to right sort of flying of the aeroplane. Now then, I don't think that was terribly unsuccessful, actually. I think it was a big improvement. Um, I'm going to put a big space plane uh, fin on the back. Now then, I'm going to try and minimize the amount of these I'm using by uh, putting them on an angle. Now these are going to be able to help in all sorts of situations. Because if they're on an angle, they can help with the up and down and also they can uh, help with the yaw and also roll so we're just being efficient there using less parts and we're trying to get a bit more ground clearance for the rear of the airplane now just in case it's not giving us a, enough um, elevation power I'm gonna put a couple more of these fins down here and uh, we're soon gonna find out if they're good enough or if they're not and also, I have noticed these engines, they're quite underpowered. Well, I've finally figured out the problem. If we look here at, um, not these, where are they? The Whiplash Turbo Ramjet engines. Well, they've both got the same stationary thrust, this one will actually make, the faster the plane is going, the more air you can feed the engine, the more thrust it'll make. And uh, at about cruising speed, it looks like it makes about three times as much thrust as the other ones. So we're going to use these engines. Just going to reinforce these um, this rear section of the aeroplane. And we're going to have one single one going from there to there. That's pretty central. Okay. That should stop the back flopping around. There we are, much better. Now, full throttle, let's go. So, already these engines are sounding a lot more uh, powerful than the other ones. They've got afterburner effects, nice lighting here. Um, yeah, they sound good, don't they? And also, since we've added those um, supports, the plane's not flexing around. Let's have a look how the plane flies with these uh, upgraded rear. Wow, the plane's off already. Perfect. Now, what I can actually do mid-flight, I can disable these these additional um, things here, and I can see how the plane handles without them. If the plane handles good, then. Uh, disable them and if the plane handles good without them then uh, we can remove them in the space plane area. Now let's have a look at these new uh, ailerons here. Let's adjust our roll. Very very uh, very agile actually. Let's do a barrel roll. That's great. The plane's flying very good actually. Oh no! No we've lost the wing! No! <laughs> oh no. We just can't get any joy with this thing, can we? Ah, oh, flipping heck. Right, let's go to structural. Let's 
reinforce these wings. I just can't get any luck. Right, maybe I was being quite aggressive there with the uh, plane. Right, let's go for it. So I can't see the plane flexing around. These structural supports, they are a big help. And they're not actually limited to Kerbal Space Program in real life. I mean, if you ever seen old uh, Spitfires and things like that, um, some older planes, they do have these to uh, just give them a bit of strength. We didn't have to go to the end of the runway, I just chose to, to make things a bit easier. And uh, we can pick up height very rapidly in this aeroplane. much better. A massive improvement. A massive improvement this is. Okay. So I'm gonna bank to the left a bit. Right rather. Same as usual. I'm gonna try and rotate. I'm gonna lower the throttle a bit because you can see from the wind effects we are moving at some serious speed right now. a nice view isn't it here from this aeroplane now then it looks like you could put a nice little Kerbin golf course here if you was a Kerbin property developer anyway let's just test the aeroplane's minimum flight before looking at the vertical speed on the right I think probably about 150 meters per second is the minimum this plane wants to fly at Yes, we've we've done it. We've landed successfully. Perfect. Now I'm not going to pretend that uh, those rear engines didn't just get smashed off, but apart from that, I think that was a, a successful mission. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. In the next one, we got we are going to be redesigning these engines. They're uh, they're a rubbish design and. It's going to make life so much more difficult than it needs to be when trying to land this aeroplane. Uh, we're going to relocate them somewhere else. Maybe we could have them under wing, under wing engines, like in uh, a modern day aircraft. Um, I don't know. We'll, ha we'll have a look. We could build them into the wing. There's lots of areas um, we could put them. Just to leave you with something funny, let's see if we can get it to take off again with just two engines. Come on, it's got it. It can do it. I reckon we should bail Valentina out while it's flying. What do you think? No. <sighs> Break. <laughs> Break. Valentina, bail. Ah, oh, where is she? Let go. She's stuck on the wing. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, never mind. Well, she survived anyway. 
uh, yeah so hopefully you have enjoyed this video if you have please feel free to like the video and uh, please consider subscribing as well if you didn't enjoy the video let me know why in the comments and I'll do my best to improve on it in the future in the next episode of this airplane what are we going to be doing well as I just said earlier we're going to be rebuilding or redesigning rather the engines where they're going to go they can't go at the back it's uh, it's too low to the floor uh, as you saw when we're trying to land they, they're going to drag on the floor and they're going to get smashed off pretty much every time other than that I think we've made some really good progress we've uh, redesigned the landing gear we've redesigned the wings on the back the uh, elevators and I don't think we actually need these either so uh, yeah I'll see you in the next one cheers